Check it out here, folks. We have the Xsense carbon monoxide detector and the first alert carbon monoxide alarms from Amazon.com. I purchased them just the other day, straight out of the pack. I'm gonna be comparing them to various forensics detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. Let's go straight to it. We have the FD-103 carbon monoxide detector, first alert, Xsense. We're in a plastic chamber enclosure. We have our 500 parts per million of gas, carbon monoxide right over here. Regulator, silicone tubing, straight into the enclosure, folks. I got a hole and the gas is coming out that way. Okay, I'm gonna pop the lid on my enclosure right over here and um, we're gonna enclose that and we're gonna turn on the gas and give it a squirt and the point here folks is to see the reaction of carbon monoxide to various detectors to see how they alarm the um, the alarm protocol the speed and also to see if things are in agreement in terms of carbon monoxide concentrations okay it's sort of like a proxy to accuracy but not necessarily because if they're all not accurate yet they're in agreement it doesn't mean they're accurate you see my point folks okay check it out folks now the forensics detectors fd103 let me zoom that in let me zoom that in okay folks um, is alarming over 50 ppm you can see the alarm you can see the led bar we have the x sense at 42 and the first alert at 73 folks okay they're all registering which is good it's good these two start registering on the lcds above 30 parts per million the forensic detectors anything above three parts per million or so it starts registering and letting you know now again we pre-program the alarm at 50 ppm but it can be programmed by you can be adjusted lower so it's really up to you and these are great portable carbon monoxide detectors waterproof shockproof great for traveling camping RVing, boating campering you name it we love these for outdoor activities including occupational safety great to pop the belt clip and put on your man and go into precarious situations also great for indoor equality monitoring folks these are great great little units now where are we folks 72 107 104 okay now it's starting to decrease these refresh rates are probably one every couple of seconds where the refresh rate on the fd is much much faster folks okay much much faster so there you have it folks now um we will take the top off and again if you're going to do anything like this make sure it's done in a um in a vented place folks in our lab here we have negative pressure so it's drawing out air and we're in a safe environment folks okay and you could see also that the not only is the reaction time fast on these little units but so too is the decay time okay so coming back to fresh with zero baseline is also much faster as compared to the other units and that's not only because of the geometry but all, uh, of the technology i should say or the sensor itself but the geometry of the units because there's still air in this plastic enclosure it captures the carbon monoxide molecules whereas here bang it goes straight into the sensor and it has a faster reaction time so that's the difference folks okay now again granted these are not meant to be fast reacting handheld carbon monoxide detectors not at all folks they have a purpose and that is as it states in their manuals to be mounted on a wall for your home okay and the alarm protocol um, this one here, first alert follows the UR2034, the Xsense has its own alarm protocol, that alarms, I think it was at um, 30 ppm, uh, but the time has to be over 120 minutes, okay folks, whereas this guy, anything above 50 ppm um, from the factory, it alarms immediately, again, not a comparison, but it's good to have the education, understand the pros and cons of these various detectors now if you're going to do let's say i want to measure the carbon monoxide in my vehicle well you've got to be mad to use one of these okay you need to use something more sensitive portable um, that will give you the fidelity at the lower levels for small enclosures for small compartments for small confined areas folks okay folks so keep that in mind select a detector wisely touch base with us if you have more questions on oh, dr cos we get this often which one do i have you sell so many i'm getting confused not a problem at all we're happy to walk it through with you okay folks look till then be well be safe mustard on my burger please see you later